Posting payments in MTBC's Billing Pro is a quick and easy process. One way you can post payments is by searching for the patient of your choice. And of course you can do this from the patient search window. To post a payment for Jane Smith on a claim, simply find her account through the patient search and double click. Double clicking will open the patient window. This is the window for Jane Smith where we have her personal tab, her claim tab, and the claims list. Clicking on the claims list will show us all of the past claims for this patient. And the green claims are the claims that have been acknowledged by the MTBC scrubber and have been submitted to the insurance company. When we're ready to post a payment for any specific claim, we can just double click on that claim row. When we're ready to post a payment for any claim, we can just double click on that row for that specific claim. Let's double click on the claim ending in 108. Now this will open the claim window for the specific claim. And here of course we can see the diagnosis codes that were used along with the procedure codes. If we've received an EOB payment, posting that payment is a very quick process. We can click on the payment slash insurances button to open up the insurance that this claim was submitted to. And now we can post a payment through the payment section. The first thing we'll do is select the payment source. Click into this field here to select the payment source. If a payment was made by the primary insurance, select primary. Next, move over to the insurance row and select the insurance. Then under payment type, select what type of payment this was. Next, you can enter the approved amounts the paid amounts, the adjusted amounts, and any rejected amounts. You can also enter rejection types, check number, charged procedures, and paid procedures. Certain claims will have multiple procedure codes. So for example, if they paid $65 or $53 for the 99213, select that this $53 payment is for the code 99213. You can also use the check number field to update the check number that was received from the insurance. You can enter any rejected amounts here and rejection types. You can scroll through the list of all of the re rejection types. and now this claim has been posted. If there was a patient payment that was made, for example a copay, under the payment source select copay and select the type of payment and the amount that was paid. When you're all finished with your payment posting you can go back to the claim using the go to claim button and now you can click save. Once that's saved your payment has been posted and all is well. To see the details of that payment post you can run a claim payment slash transaction report for any given date of your choice and I'll just use a broad date range here and click OK and you can go and find the details of that payment. Here we can see $63 was paid and $8 was adjusted for this specific claim and we can click into that to go back to that claim detail.